After downloading and installing the WinSCP software and starting it from the Start menu under Windows, you will be presented with the WinSCP login screen, where you can enter the host name or IP address of the computer that you want to connect to and your username and password on that system. So for the class server, we will be entering the IP address of the server, which is 129.24.63. You also need to enter your username and your password on the class server as a part of this screen and also double check that secure FTP or SFTP is selected under the file protocol. Once you've entered the information and checked that secure FTP is selected, click the login button. WinSCP will then connect to the remote server and on the right hand side of the screen show you your home directory and on the left hand side of the screen show you the local file system where you can select files to copy to the remote server. So on the right hand side I can double click on the public underscore HTML directory to see the contents of that directory and on the left hand side I can navigate to a folder that contains a file that I would like to copy over. In this case, I will copy the license.txt file from the MS4W application just by clicking on it in the left-hand side of the screen and dragging it to the right-hand side. I will be asked if I want to copy the file and also ask for any options that I might want to use when copying it. In this case, I'm just going to use the default settings and choose copy. And you can see that that file copied over so quickly I did not even see the status update but for larger files you'll actually see a dialog that shows the progress for the transfer from the system and you can see now that this license.txt file is the file that I copied from my local computer over to the remote server and this is how you can copy files that you edit on your local machine over to the remote system for publication as a web page